So here's a tool that I've been working on. It's a free AI test case generator designed to save you time when writing manual test cases from user requirements. After you log in, you get on the dashboard where you will see AI test case generator tool and soon there will be more. If you want to adjust your account settings, you can click up there and update your profile with the full name. Or if you want to change the password, you can do it from here as well. Also for the project settings, you can provide your own OpenAI API key if you want to unlock more powerful model and unlimited generations. Each user gets 10 monthly credits and they reset each month. So if I go to the tool now, it's quite simple to use. You provide the title and the description and you hit generate test cases. I will provide a sample user story for the login and we'll see how it generates test cases. When I hit generate test cases, it will send a request and ask AI to generate manual test cases for, for this user story. And they will appear here in a few seconds. Great, now that the test cases are generated, we can compare them with the actual requirements on the left side and modify them as we need it. So when I click on the edit button, it allows me to edit uh, each expected result, step, precondition, description, or the title. I can add new steps or expected results, or I can delete the ones that I don't like, and I can save changes. If I scroll down, you will see uh, the amount of the test cases that are generated. They are covering all the acceptance criteria that are defined on the on the left side. And if I see some test cases are actually missing, I can go and enable editing all of them and scroll down there and add a new test case for covering scenarios that AI didn't see covering. I can also delete. I can also delete other test cases if I like, like them and finally save the changes. I can copy individual test case or I can copy all of them and save them in Confluence or in both document or anywhere else. They get copied as a plain text, nicely formatted. Now, if I add my own API key, I'll show you how this works. I'm able to select a bigger model for more precise uh, generations. And if I generate now, After a few seconds, you will see again test cases appearing on the right side. If you ask yourself if this is secure, I will show you also a little bit on the backend side. This is my user account and this is the API key that gets encrypted in the database. So it is securely stored and only decrypted during the execution. I can also remove my API key if I don't want or update with the new one. I can remove the API key. It gets removed and no longer stored in the database as encrypted. Also, when generating the test cases, it never gets logged what the user was uh, entered or what was generated. Also, if the API key is used, then the edge function will decrypt it and use it, but it will never log uh, any uh, plain key uh, in plain text or something else. And then we see that it was called with a custom with your own user uh, API key. And we only log if it was successful and how much tokens did it use. And the same goes for saving the user settings and retrieving them. 
we are just logging in uh, the settings that uh, the ID of the user that saved and also when getting the user settings back. But it never gets logged any sensitive data. And yeah, that's it. Um, feel free to try out and let me know if you have any feedback. Thank you.